let's use the kettlebell for what it's for, uh, for the uniqueness of the tool. I, I can't stand when people just get a kettlebell and they're like, I love these. I use them for farmer walks. I use them for, you know, door stops. Like, no, we can do that with any weight. Let's use the kettlebell for those ballistic exercises. What's up, this is Marcus, Master Kettlebell Coach, that was a loud clap, Master Kettlebell Coach for Living.Fit. And I wanna talk about a question I get all the time. It is, what should I choose? I'm new to kettlebells, uh, I have fairly limited resources. Should I go double kettlebells? Should I go two different size kettlebells? Should I go single heavy? What should I do? So let's, let's walk over to the kettlebells. I could have started there, but you know, it feels so much nicer when you, when you follow me. So the problem with double kettlebells is there's a far greater technique uh, necessity. We have to learn how to use the movement we, or learn how to do the movement properly. So it makes it a little bit harder, a little bit more of a learning curve uh, to be able to perform the basic exercises, swings, cleans, snatches, and all that. Uh, and I understand, you know, I want to do double kettlebells. I just want to get two so I can, you know, feel like a badass. But the problem is, again, the technique learning curve. We want to make sure that we've got these exercises down and that we can really master them before we start going heavier and heavier or at least into double, because again, that's a totally different animal. What I prefer, the way I started, the way I started my clients, the way that I typically recommend, is if you are starting off, just starting off with kettlebells, you've never picked up a kettlebell, but you want two kettlebells, go with two different sizes. You wanna go with something very light, whatever that means to you, something that feels exceptionally light, a weight that you can press 10, even 15 times, so that way you can do every single exercise, you feel very confident to be able to perform all the different exercise techniques, all the different learning, uh, uh, learning techniques of the different ballistic exercises that would typically create the most pain, like cleans and swings and snatches. So when you do that, then you're gonna get a bell that's at least two, if not three sizes heavier. Uh, and I'm not talking about the two kilo um, increments, I'm talking about the four kilo increments where if you got a 26 pound bell, I would go with a 44 pound or even a 20, uh, 53 pounder bell. So you're gonna get a bell that you probably can't even get into the rack position, but you're at least gonna be able to do deadlifts, rows, uh, explosive deadlifts, and then eventually swings pretty quickly. I had new clients who had never touched a kettlebell. Within a couple weeks, they were using the heavier kettlebells for those lower body exercises. From there, then, once your technique is mastered, then we can go into double kettlebells. But the reason I like starting with the single bell, light and heavy, is because this is one of the things that makes the kettlebell so unique. You can typically find bilateral where you're holding two weights at the same time or holding a barbell or holding a machine. You typically find that throughout the entire gym. Very rarely do we go unilateral, heavy, unilateral, ballistic, like swings, clean snatches. So the kettlebell is so perfect for that. Just you know, make sure you check out the kettlebells versus dumbbells so you can see just the anatomy of the kettlebell, which makes it so perfect for hand-to-hand -hand transitions, swings, single arm work, get-ups, windmills, all those awesome kettlebell exercises that just make you so resilient, so strong. So because you can't really, you can do some of those things with dumbbells, you can't really replicate every single thing with a kettlebell. So let's use the kettlebell for what it's for, uh, for the uniqueness of the tool. I, I can't stand when people just get a kettlebell and they're like, I love these. I use them for farmer walks. I use them for, you know, door stops. It's like, no, we can do that with any weight. Let's use the kettlebell for those ballistic exercises. So to recap, if you're brand new to kettlebells, just absolutely new, you want to pick up two weights, personally start with a light weight. That might not be light for you. This might be light for you. This might be light for you. Whatever light is for you, a weight that you can press 10 to 12 times easily. I'd say even 15 times easily. That's a light weight. And then a weight that's two to three times or two to three sizes heavier. So that's if you're gonna get two weights. If you're only gonna get one, go with the lightweight because then that's gonna allow you to do all the different movements, feel very secure with your form, work up progressively, and then you'll you will move up pretty fast. And then once you've done that, then go double weights. But if you're just one of those people that's just like, I gotta have it now, then get yourself a rack. Get yourself two or three different sizes or two or three different weights. Uh, pairs so that way you have a lot of room for growth. Uh, the kettlebell is such a fantastic tool. I love incorporating it into my workouts. I love introducing it into clients, introducing it to people who really don't know much about it and just seeing those benefits uh, in their workouts and seeing them carry over into their traditional workouts or into their sports or whatever they're doing. So kettlebell is not the end all be all, but it is definitely a fantastic tool. So grab yourself a kettlebell. See you on the next one.